Okay, I'd like us to look at number 11. First step is to make our parentheses. And we put our variable into the parentheses. Second step is setting up the X puzzle. What number is going to go in the top? What kind of 56? Negative 56. And because we have a negative there, that means we're going to have 1 plus and 1 minus when we come up with our numbers. What number is invisible here? Negative 1. Now I want you to think about your math facts. What are two things that I can multiply to get 56 that are one number apart? Which one of those has to be the negative? Negative 7 and 8. Negative 8 and positive 7. If I have negative 8 plus 7, do I get negative 1? If I have negative 8 times 7, do I get negative 56? So my X puzzle works, and I'm going to put negative 8 plus 7. Those are my factors. Now we're going to check this by making our little box matrix. We're going to put n minus 8 and n positive 7. When I multiply n times n, what do we get? n squared. When I multiply 7 times n, I get 7n. Negative 8 times n, negative 8n. And the last one is negative 56. Want to look at combining like terms before we can check all the way? 7n, negative 8n gives us negative n or negative 1n. Here's my first term. Is that matching in my polynomial? Negative n here, negative 56 here. So this is our solution. That is our two factors that multiply to get n squared minus n minus 56. What questions do you have before I move on? Oh, I'm going to let you guys puzzle with number 8. Okay. Number 12. I'm noticing that there is a plus in the back. Think back to our work with our video yesterday. If there's a plus in the back, that means that the symbols are the same. same. And if this is a negative, what do you think the, the symbols are going to be? We're going to have negatives. But let's get our variable in here. Let's get our X puzzle set up. I have positive 6 up here, negative 5 down here. What are my two numbers that when I multiply them I get positive 6? And when I add them I get negative 5. Order doesn't matter, I could have put negative 2, negative 3. And then we are going to do our final step and check. I want you guys multiplying with me. n times n is n squared. Negative 3 times n is negative 2 times n is negative 2n. And negative 2 times negative 3 gives me positive 6. Combine my like terms. I'm getting negative 5n. That's my center term. Positive 6 is my last term. n squared is my first term. So it checks. Okay. I'm going to challenge you today to do a total of 20 problems on here. On the back page, there are some problems, like look at number 15, where there's a 2 in the front. You can only do this if there's nothing in front, if it's an invisible one. So I want you guys to challenge yourselves and play with this and see if you can figure out how you might work this. Okay, so you're looking for 20 problems. Um, let's talk a little bit about what the rest of the period is going to look like.